welcome to Brandley's speaking show today. Um, we we just want to talk generally as matters that relate to branding, um, brands and branding. So it has been an awesome journey, all right, trying to look at what branding is, how it affects a business, a product, or whatever we want to offer to the market, all right? So, um, but while all these things are, are going on, or while we're still discussing this, it's good for us to note that, um, like I always say, uh, branding is not just about your logo, your color, your your font, all right, special font you've chosen to use um, for all your communication materials and all that. And um, branding is much more beyond all that, all right. Branding actually involves your entire business process, all right. So you see some people that say they are into branding and what they actually do is they're into design, okay. So they're into um, different form of designs, uh, you know, when we talk about brand identity, all right, so, but your brand identity is not actually brand, it's not even branded, but, all right, but those are um, things that people see when they that help them identify your brand, it's just like you having a name, you have a name that people identify you with, so that is exactly what brand identities are, your logo, your color, uh, when people go to your website what they see so there's a feel about your your brand when people come in touch with your brand through different touch points all right so but we need to realize that when we talk about brands branding we actually talk about um the logic and the magic all right i'm going to explain that all right the logic is actually 40% and the magic is about 60%. Okay, the 40% talks about the actual product you bring to the market. Okay, and when I talk about product, I don't necessarily mean a physical product. Okay, it could be anything that ranges from your services, your uh, that you offer to the market. Okay, if you're a cleaning services um, company, all right, or business or financial services or you have a physical good, okay? You manufacture drinks, you manufacture phones, you manufacture pens, bags and all that. Yeah, come in, come in. Okay, you manufacture pens, clothing and all that. It doesn't matter. So all those things are actually products. So services, yeah, product. Um, physical goods are product. You're into, um, like I said, you sell phones, you sell biros, you sell chairs, you sell any physical thing people can handle that's also a product then of course ideas can also be a product all right ideas your concepts what you want to um push out there okay for people to identify with it that's also a product and of course we talked about destination we can to talk about destination branding um that of course that works more in the tourism and the hospitality industry and all that there's so many kind of products out there when we talk about branding all right so but we need to understand that 40 percent is the actual product you bring to the market all right then 60 percent like i said is magic it's actually plays on your emotion okay that is what we talk about um, um perception all right so um it it talks about your perception about a particular brand all right like i keep saying this there are different um and um, brand of cars okay but basically every car needs to take you from one point to another so they are basically a mode of transportation okay but now what separates each but each brand of car from the other say a mercedes-benz from a toyota or a bmw bmw is the branding all right so that's the perception so people have a particular perception towards a particular brand so that is what branding does okay for you or for your product 